In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D extruded text animation in After Effects. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is the video shop. This came about from a challenge I sometimes set students. So this tutorial is definitely geared more towards beginners. It's not advanced, although I'm assuming a basic knowledge of After Effects, such as what adjustment layers are and how to convert text into shape layers. I've kept this tutorial pretty simple, mostly because I have a train to catch soon, but also since I've already uploaded the full workflow and project file, you can always refer to those if you get stuck at any point. There's links in the description below. So just quickly, before we start, I want to talk about the exercise. Since all the teaching I've done recently has been online, one thing I'll do is tell students to go and grab a book off the shelf and then come back and show the class. Then they have to recreate the artwork and animate it. By the way, this isn't like picking a card from a magician. They do get to choose which book they animate. I'm not a total bastard. Two reasons I like this exercise. If you work in the industry long enough, you'll eventually get a shit sandwich of a project where you have incomplete or zero assets and be told to get on with it anyway. Good luck. I work these people hard and I... Uh... I'll let them play hard. Second, I think this is a good start towards a showreel which isn't full of the same tutorials, trends and plugins. There's a good chance you'll end up with something unique that no one else has animated. Sometimes it's good to not all be drinking from the same pool. Lastly, it'll force you into problem solving, which is another common theme in our industry. That's three things, isn't it? You're confused. I am a little confused. I know. Whatever, let's get started. First, you'll want to match your artwork as closely as possible. In this case, I didn't know the font, so I matched it by eye. And then if you import the original non-vector artwork, you can match the kerning, etc. I prefer to do this all in After Effects, but feel free to import from Illustrator. Interesting factoid. This book deals with mnemonic memory techniques. The more random, the better. So something like a load of bodybuilders running down the road and jumping on cars. The techniques work, but I also forgot that I had the book and I bought it again, so I ended up with two copies. In composition settings, change your renderer from classic to C4D so we can extrude the text. Convert your text to a shape layer and then make it 3D. If you want to keep your text live, you can still extrude it, but you won't easily be able to color the sides as we have here. Although if you're smart, there is a workaround for that. You can always ask in the comments. For this animation where I know the text isn't changing, I'm happy with shape layers. Then go to geometry options to extrude it. Note that you can only extrude 1000 pixels. That wasn't enough for me for this animation, so I ended up doubling up some of the letters. To add a color to the extrusion, select your shape group and go to front color and then side color. To get rid of the perspective on the letters, my favorite go-to at the moment is to pull the camera way back in Z space and then compensate with the zoom and it flattens everything out. Then parent that camera to a null that's also a 3D layer and rotate the null to get the desired angle. I covered this process in more detail in some of my previous tutorials, so feel free to check those out if you haven't already. These are the settings that I used, but obviously use what's best for you. The extrusion of the text on the letters on the book is actually pretty flat. Uh, probably done quite simply in Illustrator or Photoshop. There's a drop shadow effect on each individual letter but since we've got our letters in 3D in After Effects, it's actually easier to get proper shadows. So you might as well lean into what After Effects can do, add light and make sure your layers are casting shadows. You could always leave yours like this. If you want shadows, you'll need to make sure that you have these settings checked in the material options of your text and I added lights with these settings. To correct the perspective, I used corner pin on a pre-comp of the text. You could always use CC slant. It helps to have a reference to work to. So in this case, I've got the master artwork as a guide layer so I can fine tune the settings. Finally, we get to the animation. To be honest, this is the least interesting part of this animation process. What I've done is pretty generic. I'll refer you to the workflow video if you're at all interested in how the animation was created. With extruded text like this, having the letters bounce in on the Z axis or slide in on the Y is pretty straightforward. So this is definitely first thoughts animation. There's no clever angle on the theme of the book. It would have been nice to find some idea which riffed on the theme of memory somehow, but um, whatever. Don't you even care? Lastly, some minor finesse into the look, which I've done here with some adjustment layers on top. To help draw the eye away from the harsh edges of the extrusion here, and focus it on the main text. I've added a compound blur that blurs the edges. This can result in losing detail at the bottom here. So I've added tiny scale up using transform. 
The lights and shadows have knocked back the color somewhat, so I've added curves and hue saturation effects. You could also use vibrance. And lastly, a bit of grain to add some texture. This is personal preference, but I'd recommend previewing your animation when you add grain and noise. As what looks nice on a still image can be overkill when it's moving. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.